Hey guys, Zach here from Kubota Lynchburg, and today I am at the 2024 Kubota Dealer Connect show here in Grapevine, Texas. And I'll be showing you some of the new equipment that Kubota's coming out with, some of the innovation, some of the new technology and everything. We're gonna give you a brief overview of everything that we see at this dealer meeting. And then after that, we'll also have videos going into detail on some of the bigger ones. So stay tuned for all the new stuff that's coming out. All right, so the new RTVs that are coming out, the main change is gonna be the name. So right now, you know, we normally have this RTV X1100. It's now called the RTV X Cab. And behind me, we have the RTV X1140, which is now called the RTV X Crew. So it makes it a little bit easier to know which one we're talking about. They've redesigned the hood on these, so it's standard LEDs. It looks a little bit nicer to it. Um, the main functional improvements that they've done to the RTVs are going to be, it is a smoother shifting RTV. So when you're shifting between high, low, and reverse, um, you don't have to fight it as much as you currently do, because that's one of the major complaints people have had is fighting the shifting. They've reduced that friction in there and they've made it a lot smoother. Also, you have a little bit of a nicer parking brake. As I go to show you that, you can also see this cab model now comes in the desert sand, which is really cool. Um, so your parking brake on these is going to be a little bit nicer with a pistol grip. It's a little bit more intuitive, less likely to break, um, and you need a little less force to, uh, to make it on and off. Now this cab unit, they have reduced the decibel level in the cab. It's a little bit quieter. They've added some extra insulation underneath and in the back, so it's a little bit quieter in the cab as well. So if you're annoyed with your noise of yours, you might want to think about trading into a newer model. And then the other thing they're doing is they're basically, there's a pro convert bed that Kubota's had out for a little while in the RTV X series, where it's very easy to fold this bed up and down. We've got another video on that, but this bed can turn into a flat bed or you can take down the sides in a matter of seconds with no tools at all. So now you can have a flat bed system for hauling those wide loads or you can keep a normal bed. So nice system that they're coming out for this cab. I need to not call it an X1100, but a cab and the crew same system they've improved the shifting improved the parking brake on it and improved the hood and your led lights and everything like that and new tires i guess this is a new heavy duty worksite tire um, instead of the old style a little bit better traction and a little bit longer longevity out of those tires all right we are in the new x uh, cab it's not the x1100 anymore this is the rtv x cab taking it around on some bumpy roads and everything uh, Kubota has reduced the decibel level, so this is raw audio, no normal microphone or anything for us. Um, Kubota has reduced the decibel level, and it definitely is quieter. Um, they've put some extra insulation underneath the floor pan and behind the seating to reduce the engine noise. And it's definitely a little bit nicer to it. They've also changed the shifting on it, so it should be, I'm gonna know, no feet. Put the, on the brakes. It does shift a little bit smoother between gears as well. So that is nice being able to go into reverse, high, low a little bit easier. Yeah, definitely some small improvements and they have changed the parking brake on it as well. So some nice little improvements that Kubota's done. So we're checking out the new Z452i, which is going to be the new fuel injected 400 series Kubota Zero Turn in a 54 and a 60 inch deck. A um, couple nice features on it. It will have a push button start. Um, it's going to have a throttle control here right by your handle rather than your normal mechanical. It's gonna be better throttle control. You're gonna have a check engine light on it, which will actually check a couple different service codes. So because it's a fuel injected engine on it, you're gonna have these features such as a, you know, engine computer that's going to tell you when something goes wrong and this engine light will come on it'll also tell you when you're due for service and everything so just a little bit more smart of a machine but if you want to you can start it up it's fuel injected which means it's going to be better fuel economy actually a little bit quieter as well the engine sounds real good these are weighted handles now so these weighted handles will let you move a little bit smoother than some of the competitors and even the old z400 series very similar control to the old Z400 series, no real changes there. Other than a fuel injected engine, a little bit better handling, and a little bit better computer sensor. Realistically, just small improvements that Kubota's doing to make this a better machine overall. All right, so I went outside and I drove one of these. It drives very similar to the Z422, which is our very popular, most popular Kubota Zero Turn we sell. But this is the new Z452i, I standing for fuel injected. Um, and that's the biggest 
uh, upgrade that this machine has. There's a couple other small things that the machine has upgraded, but the big thing is the engine on this one. Um, so they still come standard with suspension seat, folding roll bars, larger tires. You have the option between a 54 or a 60 inch deck, but it is now a 26 horsepower fuel injected engine. That's better fuel economy, that's better blade tip speed, that's going to be better performance in every aspect to it. So the nice thing is, is you no longer have a choke, you no longer have a carburetor that's gonna get gummed up with ethanol and everything like that. You don't have to worry about all the fuel systems and everything. Um, and you have a more consistent cut, consistent machine every single day when you're using it. So it's just gonna be a huge seller. It's gonna be a really nice machine because of the uh, options. It also is a keyless start. So it's less to go wrong with your key switches and everything because now it's just a push button start. And the other big thing that I mentioned in the video outside is this check engine or the service light that'll tell you if there's an issue or it's throwing a code or there's anything going on with the fuel injected engine. Our mechanics, rather than having to tear that engine down, can just hook up a computer to it and tell you exactly what's going on, which saves diagnostic time and unneeded parts and labor. So this is the new KX040-5, very similar to the KX040-4, but definitely has some new upgrades and features we're gonna show you guys real quick. All right, so we've got a full video coming out on the KX040-5 that'll show all everything in detail, but the highlights of this really are going to be a couple of main features. The cab first and foremost, um, they've redesigned the cab. It's better visibility, more comfortable seat. You actually have an air ride seat option now. Um, it's going to have a much nicer floor plan to it. The decibel level, your actual noise while using this machine is significantly lower. They've put extra insulation in it um, and that is significantly better. As well as it has better serviceability when opening your back panels and everything. So better access to your batteries and your fuel ports. You have a fuel drain for your entire tank. Fuel water separators are easier to access. So overall operator use of it day to day um, from the decibel noise, a brand new seven inch full color LCD display screen on it where you can control your hydraulic flows. You have a integrated Bluetooth radio. You can answer cell phone calls while you're in it. Um, it's a much more comfortable to use machine while keeping the same, you know, very important 10,000 pound range with the nice ho horsepower engine we have and everything like that. But little small things like tie down points. Um, and one of the, I guess the, one of the other bigger things is an increased hydraulic flow to it. Not your flow coming out of your implements, but what I mean by that is it's a little bit smoother to operate multiple functions at once. Turning the cab, using the arm, um, driving simultaneously for when you're using like a mulching head or a brush cutter is all improved. So a lot of nice new improvements. The cab itself, if you ever get a chance to sit in one, is super nice with the keyless start and all the stuff on your screen right there. And it is a very nice, very comfortable machine. All right, behind me, you can see the SVL 97-3. Uh, it's very popular at the show because it's been long, long anticipated to come out. Um, I'm gonna go over some of the basic features real quick, but we will have another video on this one as well, going into depth about all the new upgrades because there's quite a few. Um, so one of the biggest one is going to be a new fully sealed enclosed cab. Now your cab in the past, it had gaps, it let dust in and it was uh, noisy and everything. This one is like the new 75-3 where it is fully enclosed sealed, which means it's very quiet, very clean. You can answer phone calls. Um, and in that cab are a ton of new features like the seven inch touch screen, LCD display screen. That's almost in everything these days. Um, everything's at your fingertips. It's gonna have its own passcode to start it. Um, you can uh, program up to 51 different passcodes and you can control what those passcodes do. So you want one operator to only be able to drive three miles an hour, you can do that. You can slow them down. Um, speaking of which, this machine has increased track speed. So you can actually go up to, I think, 8.3 miles per hour. So it's faster, so you can move around quicker. It's gonna have um, auto shift adjust, I think is what they call it where as you're turning, it's going to slow down one side of motors and speed up the other, so you're not ripping up the ground as bad. So it's gonna be a lot smoother to turn and make those sharp turns to it. Um, in the cab, you're gonna have integrated radio, Bluetooth, um, backup camera. Hold on, I took a picture of everything that I wanted to because there's so much. Let's see, LED lights. Um, better air condition to it. Rear view camera is standard. Ooh, one of the really nice things, heated and air suspension seat standard. That is beautiful. That is going to be a very nice option. Um, Self-leveling loaders that you can turn on and off. Very easy to adjust your hydraulic controls. Telematics are standard. Um, auto idle, auto shifts. 
um, a lot of these features on it that are really nice um, that needed to happen to it and you're gonna get a much more comfortable, much easier to use and much more customizable machine. All right, this is the new SVL50X. It is the new tiny skid steer that Kubota came out with. Um, and it is designed for this small residential applications, um, for the construction applications where you have to fit into tight areas with a small footprint. Um, and it is a sweet machine. There's not many machines of this size um, in the market. And as far as the standard features and the features you can get on these things, it is extraordinary. So one of the nice things, you can get an open station or a cab, um, and you can choose a lot of options. Like you can get a manual quick hitch on the front, and it is universal. You can get a hydraulic quick hitch on it. If you get the cab, it is a factory sealed enclosed cab on it. So you're gonna have that nice uh, dust-free environment, quiet environment. You can answer your cell phone and everything like that while you're in there. Seven inch LCD touchscreen display screen. I think you guys have heard me say that a lot. Um, and it's going to have Bluetooth and uh, backup camera options and everything like that to it. Very nice interior, very easy and comfortable to get in and out because Kubota is always very detailed as far as the comfortability of the cab. So even a large person can fit comfortably inside of it with the small footprint. So some of the specs on it is it'll pick up rated operating capacity at 35%. I think is like, um, oh Lord, I don't even know. I think it'll pick up a little over 2000 pounds is what it's rated for, but I know it'll pick up more off the ground, but you know how they rate these skid steers. It's really weird, but my bet would be it'd probably pick up 3,000, 3,200 pounds off the ground, just not very high without tipping. Um, and then of course you actually have on your tracks, you can't really see, but there's a suspension system to your tracks, which makes it very comfortable to it. Um, a very easy accessibility to the back of it. The radiator is in the back door um, or basically where it's really easy access. You'll see that here in a second. So really nice, really easy to use. Some of the features are, it has anti-stall, so one stall. It's got auto idle, so it saves on fuel. It's got a shockless ride to the arms. So raising, lowering arms is a lot smoother adjustable track response speed so you can control your uh, tracks, how fast they respond, um, and some other really nice features to it. So check it out. All right, guys, this is the new MX4900. This is an addition to the MX lineup. This is not replacing the current models, but the MX lineup has been so popular. Um, I think I've said it many times before, the MX6000 is my favorite tractor that we sell, but they wanted to add something that's a little bit more cost effective and really fits that 48 to 50 horsepower range tractor. Um, and Kubota's done really well. We're just going to compete in that market well, being a little bit more cost effective than the 5400. And it adds four more tractors in the Kubota lineup because you can get this in a gear drive, gear drive cab, hydrostat, or hydrostat cab. Now, what's new about the MX4900? Absolutely nothing. Um, and I do actually mean that. It is the exact same tractor with the same engine, other than it's detuned to 49 horsepower, same loader, same transmissions options, same everything to it. Um, the only difference is going to be your engine horsepower. It's going to be a little bit cheaper. And as you can see behind me, LED light options, which are now going to be an option on all the MX series. So you can see if you walk around, it is quite, quite bright where you have MX uh, LED lights up there and LED headlight options as well. So just a really simple uh, change in the Kubota lineup to have this 4900 where you get that little bit less horsepower option. You don't need to quite spend all the money you're going to on the 54 or 6,000, but still get the same lift capacity, get the same options and features that we all love on the MX series. So I hope you guys appreciated and enjoyed the brief overview of products that Kubota is coming out for, with for 2025. You probably won't see most of these products until early next year sometime, but it's nice to see that Kubota is really dedicated to keeping the core values of quality products. Everything we saw today was very quality, as well as very operator friendly, easy to use and comfortable. So we're excited for these new products. Um, I'm excited to be able to use them when they come to the dealership lots and show you guys how everything works. Um, but until then, we appreciate you guys watching.